China's leading role in graphene, the emergence of graphene, allows people to see the possibility of carbon-based ships, and the processing speed of carbon-based ships can reach a thousand times that of silicon-based chips. Which means that under the same technology, the processing speed of carbon-based chips is 1,000 times faster than that of silicon-based chips from another point of view even if the carbon-based chip does not reach 5 nanometers the processing speed is much faster than the 5 nanometer silicon-based chip it is absolutely a good news for China's semiconductor industry as we all know the poor Chinese companies such as Huawei suffered the US chip and a lot then how advanced is China's carbon-based chip can it solve Huawei's predicament? Okay, let's figure out in today's video the chips we are talking about now are actually all silicon-based chips. Now the silicon-based chip 5 nanometers has achieved mass production, 3 nanometers technology has made a breakthrough and mass production is expected in the second half of next year. Next the impact will be launched to 2 nanometers and 1 nanometer. But this is close to the physical limits of silicon-based ships and the cost is already quite high so the next generation of more suitable alternatives must be found at this time carbon-based ships came into being because the performance of 90 nanometer carbon-based chips is equivalent to 28 nanometer silicon-based chips and the 60 nanometer carbon based chips are equivalent to 10 nanometer silicon based chips so that china can get rid of uv lithography machine restrictions and in terms of performance and power consumption carbon based ships are most likely to become one of the disruptive technologies for integrated circuits in the post more era tests have shown that carbon based chips is 1,000 times better than silicon-based chips in the performance and power consumption. To this end the Peking University team in China has been studying for more than 20 years. It is worth mentioning that the Peking University team is at the world's leading level in terms of carbon-based materials technology and performance. So has China mastered the graphene technology? Well, the center of graphene research and commercial activity was shifting to China driven by favorable government policies funding and world-leading academic research. In fact China has become the global leader in graphene and carbon nanotube CNT publication and patenting activity this trend had shown itself in publication and patent numbers as well as in investments and capacity announcements the precedent was also that China had stepped in late, but became a leading territory in commercializing commercially. It has attained parity with international counterparts in CNT production. China's domestic graphene and CNT market will also reach $22.4 million and $48.4 million respectively driven by the growth of the Li-ion battery market, and newer applications like coatings and thermal dissipation the use of graphene to manufacture new components is expected to enable China's chip manufacturing industry to achieve corner overtaking in the future thereby reaching the world's advanced level graphene chips will be an excellent opportunity for Chinese chips to achieve corner overtaking, because this field is still blank on a global scale, and Western countries' technological breakthroughs in this field are also very slow, because they are on the same starting line. In addition, China's graphene technology, R&D team, has already blazed its own path, in this field the 8-inch graphene single wafer announced this time will be the basic material for carbon-based ships in the future. On the other hand it can be seen from the current problems that Huawei is encountering that no matter how perfect the chip design is if the chip manufacturing technology 
is not good everything is empty talk from the historical report graphene was discovered in 2004 it is a two-dimensional material with a hexagonal honeycomb lattice composed of carbon atoms redox or mechanically exfoliated according to relevant data graphene is the lightest thinnest toughest and strongest material currently known at the same time its electrical conductivity thermal conductivity and light transmittance are also very good its fields of application involve sensors capacitors transistors new energy batteries flexible display screens photosensitive elements and many other aspects it is considered by many countries in the world to be a revolutionary material that determines future technology besides it is also known as the king of materials the world's strongest crystal and so on so is the carbon nanomaterial dash graphene likely to replace silicon based materials and be applied to the chip field in the future can it help china achieve overtaking in the chip field and break the foreign technology blockade against china in one fell swoop the development of carbon based material graphene technology in recent years technological development has been so rapid that Moore's law is slowly failing as early as 2005 the International Semiconductor Technology Roadmap ITRAS put forward the post Moore's law pointing out that the development of semiconductors in the future requires the common development of a variety of technological innovations and applications combining silicon-based and non-silicon-based technologies to in order to deal with technical bottlenecks and meet the needs of the future market. After so many years of development silicon-based semiconductor materials have basically reached the physical limit however non-silicon-based semiconductor materials such as graphene will become an important direction for future development in 2012 the american electrical and electronic engineering association wrote a book called beyond more it is mentioned that the semiconductor industry may enter the carbon era from the silicon age in the near future the carbon nanomaterial graphene is likely to replace the original silicon-based materials in the future. As of today, the main material for chip manufacturing is still silicon dominating. Everyone knows that in order to manufacture top-level chips, the most advanced lithography machine must be used. The development of lithography machine is even more difficult than the atomic bomb china to this day there is still no breakthrough in lithography technology but then again although china has developed an eight inch graphene single wafer there is still a long way to go before this technology is actually applied to chip manufacturing despite this many netizens are still very excited because the success of the eight inch graphene single wafer shows that the huge changes in chips in the future are getting closer and closer if China's carbon-based. Ships can be the first to be commercialized. It will bring disruptive innovations to the entire chip industry in the future, whether it is production technology, production equipment, or production materials, it will be reshuffled according to relevant news this kind of graphene single wafer is currently in small-scale mass production and china's layout of graphene carbon-based ships has begun which will lay a good foundation for china's future chip manufacturing it is reported that in the shanghai institute of microsystems of cas 8 inch Graphene wafers made their debut and are ready for mass production. This means that China is leading the world in research on carbon-based ships. And if the wafers can be cut perfectly, 
then a real carbon-based chip will be born all along the chips have been using silicon-based semiconductor materials. And although the performance is still good in all aspects, they cannot continue to progress as long as they reach their limits, so many countries around the world began to target on the carbon base. Ship its performance and stability is stronger once the breakthrough will definitely cause changes in the semiconductor industry now it seems that China has achieved a leading position in the field of carbon-based ships the debut of 8-inch graphene wafers represent the domestic chip may be able to achieve overtaking, but this is not enough to succeed in the rise of domestic chips, must continue to move forward carbon-based ships, and silicon-based ships are deceased.